Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we have our hands full. We are gonna be clearing out our raised garden bed areas of all of the plants that are completely spent and uh, planting some new seeds and also maybe possibly some transplants as well. So just trying to keep up and get a head start as much as possible on our fall season, which I have been so looking forward to. So we'll get going here and I hope you'll follow me along. As we transition from summer to fall, I'm going to be clearing out the remains of my summer crops, making room for the next round of healthy, nutrient-rich plants. As I work on getting my garden ready, I can't help but think about the deeper reason why I love growing my own food. It's not just about having a beautiful garden, it's about having control over what I feed my family. recent years, grocery store produce has started to lose some of its magic, if you will. Just take a look at this for comparison. And while this looks nice and big and plump, and this one might not be as large or as dark, it actually holds more vitamins and nutrients than this one that does that is store-bought. In commercial farming, crops are often harvested green to survive the long trip to grocery stores. And to make them look ripe, they're exposed to ethylene gas during transport, a process that speeds up the color change but doesn't allow the nutrients to develop like they would naturally. Research even shows that compared to 50 years ago, fruits and vegetables we find in the store today have lost up to 38% of their key nutrients, and that includes essential vitamins like vitamin C, calcium, and magnesium. And one major reason is the way that food is grown commercially with synthetic fertilizers, over irrigation, and soil depletion. And that's why I choose to grow my own vegetables. I wanna give my family food that's harvested at its peak, full of flavor, full of nutrients, and free from harmful chemicals. Even crops like broccoli have changed over time. The broccoli we buy today has about half the nutrients it did 50 years ago. But when I grow it myself, I know it's as nutrient dense as it can be because I control the soil, the water, and growing conditions. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hold it higher. <laughs> <laughs> A little higher. <laughs> <laughs> this one was Another reason I love growing my own food is to avoid GMOs. And while genetically modified foods are technically safe, the way they're grown kind of concerns me. They are often sprayed with more chemicals and may have lower levels of important micronutrients. I prefer to plant my own organically so I know exactly what I'm putting into the soil and into my body. So I guess you could say this is why each season I try to get the most out of my garden. I want to know that when I serve up homegrown tomatoes and peppers, I'm giving my family the best. So today, we're not just planting for a harvest, we're planting for health. And each seed I sow is another step toward filling our plates with nutrient-packed, homegrown goodness.
All right, guys. Well, that does it for today's video. We got a lot accomplished today. I am super excited. Looking forward to our fall season now that the temperatures are finally starting to come down. I hope you enjoyed this content. And if you did, please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I wish you guys the best of luck this fall season and we we'll hope to see you again on the next one. Bye.